Hi guys, so today we've got our hands on a uh, Bowers & Wilkins BMW ASW608 compact subwoofer you can see that backwards ASW608 uh, this is meant to be the introductory uh, lower range model sub 8 inch 250 uh, millimeter driver at the front um, and it's uh, currently a 200 watt um, class D amplified um, subwoofer uh, currently available at Richard Sounds and this is as of um, uh, September October 2021 uh, you can pick this little baby up for about 450 pounds uh, in the UK uh, so we're going to do a very quick overview on it maybe let's quick uh, give you a quick base test and uh, give you an idea of what this uh, subwoofer is capable of you can have a look online for reviews um, but that's a grill um, quite a sheer fabric on the front and you can see the mesh framework um, from the light. Uh, the center is quite empty but you've got the drill holes on the edge. Um, the pins are a very breakable little plastic pin. Um, it's not like the solid steel magnetic construction you'll see of the likes of SVS and so on but BMW you pay a premium for it but uh, I would have thought there'd be a bit more uh, thought and uh, design put into the uh, clips on these grills. Nevertheless that's the grill you get for the subwoofer itself. Now the unit itself, it is a very compact, very compact unit. Uh, probably takes on the likes of the Cambridge Audio Minx uh, 201s, 301 uh, subwoofers. If you like, if you have spaces of a premium and you want a uh, very tight, punchy, accurate bass, this is what it delivers. It's a non-ported box, um, so uh, yeah, you know, space is, uh, is of a premium. Then this is the type of box that uh, or unit you want to get. Um, it has uh, some shortfalls in the ter in terms of the low end frequency roll off you're not going to get the really low end grunt you can from some of the ported boxes of the bigger drivers out there but uh, it's a quality unit bmw very well made it's a nice sturdy little box um, you can hear the enclosure i'm not going to open them up to see exactly how big or how thick the mdf is but i would have thought it's probably 12 mil uh, made with 12 mil uh, mdf um, but don't quote me on that Give you an idea of the rough dimensions of the unit itself. Uh, we've got uh, a depth of approximately 280 millimeters, uh, a width of approximately 260 millimeters, and a height without feet, of course, uh, of 260 as well. Um, the feet itself um, comes with these rubberized little bulbs uh, that screw on. Um, so you can see hopefully that focus comes into that play um, and these are screwed on as opposed to the Cambridge Audio ones which are stuck and every now and then you'll notice that the, the sticker migrates uh, because the glue melts and it shifts around and so on these are solidly in place um, they're not going to move around so let's go to the back you can see it's not a bevel it's not a bevel finish they're very sharp edges and points so prone to be knocking around uh, the driver itself is a paper cone it's called aramid fibers uh, what's quoted on bmw's website it's a long throw subwoofer beautiful you can feel the quality in the in the rubber surround and this thing does shift air it jumps a lot a lot of excursion and uh, uh, movement on that just showing you the back of the unit itself um, we've got uh, the amplifier, figure of 8 cable. You would have thought you paid a lot for a sub, you'd have an on off switch, but you don't. You could just speak a line in levels. It's got a, a dual frequency uh, line in, so left and right, uh, RCA. Phase switch, this is 0 and 180. We've got an equalizer setting as well, which you can change. Base extension, which gives you a slightly lower roll off and low pass filter. You can either have it full frequency or just low pass. You got your low pass frequency um, set off there. Uh, you got your speed. Speaker volume, uh, I'm not quite sure why there's two volumes, I have, a, I have to have a play around with it, and your main volume, and you've got your on, auto, and standby switches with the red LED indicator. So we'll set this up for a quick base test, have a look at the at the movement on it, and uh, feel free to leave any um, uh, comments, um, and uh, feel free to subscribe. I am I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with the, with the punchiness and directness of the sub. It's a bit lacking in the really low end as uh, you know for my likings but still a very capable performer um, but i think there's uh, better alternatives on the market for that price range um, uh, you know for the same price or probably for a quarter of the price you can pick up a really good q acoustics um, 7070 si or even a 6000 um, or 3000 range unit for uh, uh, a lot cheaper and i think it has a lot more grunt so bear with me we'll set it up for a quick test
Here we go, ready for the base test. This is full frequency roll off out of the bottom. And this baby jumps. I mean, it's shifting a fair amount of air. You can look at the recur. Recursion on that, excursion on it rather. And we put it up to full frequency. The sub wants to do a lot more, and it's a shame it's just in a, a small 8 inch box, uh, but I don't think it'll be able to uh, manage anything more than that. 200 watts, I think, is pushing it. And for you to get any better base out of there, I think you need to increase the driver's surface and also put a bigger box on it. There we have it, Bowers and Wilkins, thanks for watching guys.